Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of DMC Gamer Reviews. I am your host, DMC Gamer, also known as Connor. Call me Connor, please. And today we will be reviewing Transformers Devastation. I know it looks different on this side of the camera, but fuck it. So, Transformers Devastation. Transformers Devastation. What can I say about this? It was it is developed by Platinum Games. They made games like, let me show you, they made games, lots of games, like Bayonetta, Bayonetta, I know you can't see it, but Bayonetta, and of course my favourite one, the god of all, nearly the god of all hack and slash games, Metal Gear Rising, my, one of my favourite Metal Gear games of all time. Yes, this game was fucking brilliant, I will, I will review this game at a later date, trust me. So, back to Transformers Devastation. This game, this game, this, 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 this game, this game, was disappointing a bit for me. It was a bit disappointing for me. I have to say it was a bit disappointing. Because, knowing Platinum, they, they make good fucking hack and slash games. This one is still a good hack and slash game. But... I was a bit too overexcited for it. I don't know what to say. Uh, the first, let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay, the gameplay is fucking phenomenal. It plays like Bayonetta before it. And Metal Gear Rising, traditional hack and slash. Fucking love hack and slashes. It's my favorite genre. Uh, but this time, you don't just hack and slash. You hack, slash, and shoot. Yes, and and Transformers Devastation for the first time ever in a hack and hack and slash. You. Actually, go into third person mode and start shooting shit. Not like Devil May Cry though. Devil May Cry is still behind behind the camera, behind the back. So there's multiple different. There's a wide variety of weapons you can use from shotguns, axe. Well, go for the melee shit first. Swords, twin swords, hammers, axes, fists, and fists. Yeah. Did I miss anything? I think I, I think I got it. And for guns, you get pistols, shotguns. Sniper rifles and SM SMGs and machine guns, so it's pretty, pretty good. But the main problem with this is the story and the length. The plus side of the story is that they got some of the original cast from the original eighties eighties cartoon come back, like Peter Cullen. Obviously, he's obviously always going to be the voice of Optimus Prime for everyone. I think they got they got the voice of Grimlock back, the original voice of Grimlock, and. A lot of other people, I think a couple of new people were in it as well. Not all of them reprised their roles though, uh, but the story was kind of disappointing to me. I could not follow it at all. I could not follow the story. Uh, I'm guessing they were. Yeah. The story didn't hook me at all. Not like, Res not like Metal Gear Rising and Bayonetta. This is. The graphics. And the story play out like it's an episode of the original 80s cartoon show. I mean, the graphics really grab that 80s cartoon vibe to it. If you look at the back of it, look at the back, it, it, it looks amazing. But the story is pretty lackluster, uh, not really that good. And the only thing that saves this game is the gameplay and the boss fights and the music. I mean, the fucking music, as always in a Platinum, Platinum game, is amazing. Fucking gets you hyped for a fight, and the bosses are quite good too. Like the first three or something, I think it's three, first four, five or six. But the final boss, the final boss, the final boss is quite shit. Obviously, the final boss is Megatron, but you before you fight him in that, you fight you fought him twice before. One in the final, the first mission, and then the, like the mission before the final boss. I think, no, I think you faced him three times. Yeah, but apart from all that, all the boss fights are good. The boss fights are amazing. Uh, as always, from Platinum Game, their boss fights and gameplay are amazing. Uh, but the game, the game itself is quite short. The game is really short. I beat it in like four hours, and that was like with half of my upgrades all done. But you get to play as five Autobots, five Autobots, and this is not going to get with the gameplay now. Gameplay, traditional hack and slash, what you need to know.
but this time you get you can switch between five characters. You can switch between Optimus, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, and Grimlock. The first four are basically the exact same character. They do the exact same moves, exact same vehicle forms are like the exact same. The only one different from him is Grimlock. I mean Grimlock obviously he can turn into a fucking T Rex, they have to make that unique. And his dino form is the only thing different that makes him stand out from the rest. Because in his dino form he can attack and shoot fire as well. So that's a plus. I've only played like the first mission is Grimlock. But the rest are all basically the ex like palette model swap to basically be the exact same character. You can switch on the fly from vehicles whenever you want. And you can switch and there you can and occasionally you come to this thing called like a, a station that you can go to the arc and change your character mid mission and your equipment. And also you can level up your equipment and all that. But for me the I think I'm just gonna go in the rating now because I'm going on too long here. You basically already know what I mean. This game was really disappointing after coming after me coming off the after coming off Metal Gear Rising and Bayonet Bayonet or games like that. This game was quite disappointing and a it's still it's a good game, it's just don't expect the masterpieces like Bayonet or Metal Gear Rising coming from it. But overall I'm gonna give this game a rating of six out of ten. I know I think it should have deserved more from my opinion. And I know to I know from now to expect a little less from the new Ninja Turtles game that they just released, made by Platinum Games as well. That game looks quite good as well, but if you like this review, leave a like button, hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment. And if you want me to do more reviews, just tell me because this is the first for me, this is the first review for me. And I, uh, I will see you guys in the next, epi next episode.